is Thursday night. Forgot the date. Fourteenth. Fourteenth. Thursday night, uh, January fourteenth. Hey guys, how are you? Uh, great things going on out here. Super busy. We got all kinds of different things going on. A lot of upcoming projects. Um, let's see. What is it? tomorrow? Tomorrow you'll see a new Zoom, which was really cool. Really good. I think you guys will like it a lot. Uh, a really neat couple. Um, and, and we just had, Vicki and I had a lot of fun doing a Zoom with them. So you'll see that in the morning. And then tomorrow night, we'll be live on YouTube. And that will be Dad and I in front of the camera. And we've got something special planned. And a couple giveaways. Uh, at least two giveaways. And um, then Saturday, Vicki and I will be back here on Saturday morning, 9 a.m., Mountain Time, Vicki and I will be back here on Facebook and uh, doing another live. And then Sunday, she every day, uh, Sunday would be the last part of uh, Dad's senior moments with uh, me and Ryan, uh, all three of us sitting at the table. And uh, we're looking, looking for, I, I think you guys will really enjoy this one. Uh, some great, uh, some great stuff. So. Anyway, let's get into tonight. We got people chiming in. Yeah, congratulations to Frank for becoming. I saw a, that. Congratulations, Frank. You're a official veteran owned uh, veterans owned Texas business. I think something like that. It was really a cool logo. That would be really cool to carve. Anyway, I saw it on Facebook Hi, Tessa. a while ago. Hey Tessa. I haven't talked to Tessa today. Um all right, let's get into the questions. Uh, nothing super long, and these might be somewhat redundant for some of you that have been around for a while, but we have a lot of new people, so I want to uh, touch base on this because I'm getting questions on it once in a while. Um, so it's this is from Tim, and he says, um, hope you guys are doing okay. So I tried to order the sanding sealer from Amazon, but they said they couldn't ship it here to his location, which that's the first time I've heard anything like that. Amazon, even in our Amazon store, it's really s strange. Some of the products are like, you know, two or three months away in order to uh, get them. So I apologize, guys. I just think there's a lot of demand on online stuff right now. Uh, but he said, then I tried to uh, have them sent to my son's house but they wouldn't ship it there either. Got any ideas? So yes, I do have some ideas. Anyway, this is, in case you guys don't know, I've had this sanding sealer for a while. Obviously, the label got baked. Uh, but this is the sanding sealer that I currently use. And I've been using this for a while. It's water-based. And I just picked this gallon up down at Lowe's. Uh, yeah, Lowe's, I think. Um, so it, it's lasted me a long time. It goes a long ways. So, um, huh? Oh, I thought you said something. So this is sanding sealer I use, and I love the way it works. However, I have found just within the last, I want to say within the last couple months, I have mentioned it a few times. I'm not sure. Now, generally speaking, I only use a sanding sealer on pine or something that looks like pine. It's very white, um, a very light white grain um, softwood, and it... Uh, it keeps the black, when I spray the black uh, primer or flat black, it keeps it from bleeding or it, it greatly diminishes the aspects of bleeding. But what I found in the last, again, couple months is I didn't, normally when I apply the sanding sealer, I use the critter gun. But the last couple months, I've just put two coats of this on, uh, on the pine and it seems to work almost as well. So it won't work very well if you tend to overspray. So that's what you want to try to avoid. Don't overspray that black because even with sanding sealer or this, it will bleed on you or it could. Um, I, you know, if every board's a little bit different, some have uh, more tendency to bleed. But again, on cedar, on redwood, on white poplar, on you know, many other, almost everything that I have available to me other than pine, uh, I don't use any kind of sealer, pre-sealer on it at all. 
I just spray my black layout on there if I'm using layout letters um, or you know if I'm spraying the black after the carving. I don't use any sanding sealer at all on anything other than pine. You guys may be using different types of woods that I don't use that maybe you'll need sanding sealer, but pine is the only one that I use that I find sanding sealer or now this as a replacement for the sanding sealer. Um, only ones I find necessary is the pine. So, I hope that answer. I already answered Tim, but I hope that if you guys had some questions on that. Now, a video that you can go watch that I did at uh, Sanding Sealer. Um, this was just back in October. A Sanding Sealer experiment on our um, YouTube channel is... Um, Gosh, I didn't write the number down, but I think it was a Facebook Live, and it was the date 10 slash 13 slash 20. So if you just go to the channel search and you type in that date, that video should come up. And I think it's Sanding Sealer Experiment or something to that effect. So, hope that, uh, hope that helps. Somebody asked if you got a fancy new mic in your ear. Well, I got something in my ear. That is true. Uh, yeah, we're trying the, um, the AirPods. Um, we were told that might work. We were told it might work. So, since you asked, let us know how the sound is. And uh, Vicky's got one in, and I've got one in. So, we're, uh, we were told, we were hoping that this works. If it doesn't, we'll keep trying stuff until we figure it out. Okay, next question. Ooh, I thought that was going to go. Uh, Eric, I watched your video that showed how you modified the I'm router. I'm sorry, I'm going to ask a question. Leonard Davis says, do you keep your sanding sealer uh, in a mason jar? Sound, sound is great. Yes, I do, um, actually, because the sanding sealer, I have, I have brushed it on right out of the gallon, but I really like spraying it with a critter. So, yes, I keep a, 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 a mason jar with the sanding sealer, uh, using the critter with it and um, and it works great so yes I do keep the sanding sealer in a mason jar for the critter sprayer okay uh, yes the next question by Jack he says I watched your video that you showed how to modify the router to allow more light on the workpiece please let me know the process um, I should follow to remove the black cushion Okay, so let me go into that. So he is talking about, um, he probably has, a, a, oh, he has a Makita. Are you oh kidding gosh. me? gosh, <laughs> there goes the phone. So he has a Makita. Now, the, when I first got my Makita, I did, um, I did remove the black cushion before we modified it. So if you guys don't know, this is, we yeah, cut this open and we, uh, we cut this show. for more light and for uh, sawdust exit. Anyway, and I removed the pad off of here because I thought I needed to. But then later on, um, when Dad modified my Bauer and uh, I think there was a couple others, um, he just left the pad on there. And I've already answered uh, Jack, but he just left the pad on there and he just drilled right through it. So whether you're doing it with a hacksaw or whether you're doing it with a hole saw, um, you can just cut right through that pad and I would leave that pad on because you know that pad insulates from the heat the thing that um, the, about the um, The DWP 611s that I use mostly in the summertime the side of this thing will get really hot Especially when I was up in Oatman and I put mole skin on the side just to keep my hands from getting burnt and my knuckles from getting burnt uh, touching the side of this thing. So in the summertime, out here especially, uh, the side of these housings get pretty warm. So I just, uh, I would suggest just leave that rubber on there when you modify that thing. And that's what I suggested to uh, uh, to Jack as well. I guess I should have blew these router, routers off before I brought them in. But if you want to see the... Um, the video where I actually showed uh, the, these two routers together, it was video number 458, 458, and that's where I did the review of the Bauer against the Makita. And uh, in case you guys haven't seen that, um, I like the Bauer just about as much as I do the Makita. I think uh, it, it actually works really well. 
I, I really like it. So, uh, but anyway, yeah, if you have, if you're modifying your router and the housing has rubber on it, I would just leave it on there. Um, no reason to take it off. You can, that's what I did on this one, but now I wish I had left it on there. Okay. Darren Smith is uh, giving shout out to Jeffrey Dale for doing that donation or that uh, auction for that on that sign. Yeah, yeah, I saw something on that. That was on Facebook, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, so Jeff was doing. Uh, He's. It's an auction. Was he doing another one? Because he did a benefit before. Jeff yeah. did. Is it's it, a different is this one. A new one. Yeah. Okay. I think so. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, Jeff is uh, doing some great stuff down there. Great stuff. So thank you for reminding us that on that, uh, Darren. All right, sign carvers of the day. Let me get my thumbs out of the way. I don't want to be all thumbs. Here we go. Uh, so this is from Chandler Elote. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but I thought these were really cool. Use 1x12 pine. And uh, these are, you know, guys... I think these kinds of things just make a great uh, niche if you're looking to sell some product. Oh, I'm sorry. It was yeah. Darren's auction. Darren's doing the auction, and Jeff is helping out with it. Oh, okay. So I apologize that, guys. Well, congratulations, guys. I hope it goes well. I want to go on and check that out. Um, anyway, great job, Chandler. I, I just I think these are really a cool idea. Uh, and it's probably endless the the types of these types of signs that you could make that could be really good sellers. Um, John Denver, first signs for his grandkids, uh, actually really well done for first signs. Uh, looks like cedar to me, I would say. Uh, but great job, John. Love it. Jeff Callahan or Aww. Callahan, excuse me. Um, Eastern red cedar. And I don't know what size this is, but I think it's pretty good size. But um, really cool. That's probably him and Lisa. Great job, Jeff. Lisa is his bride, by the way. Uh, Jeff Cheatham. Uh, this was a Christmas exchange sign for Robert Ludlow. Um, Alabama football. I've never seen that particular um, logo when it comes to the, the Crimson Tide. Roll Tide Alabama football, but that really is cool. I really like that. Great job. Beautiful board. Paul, ah, Whoa. you got to tell Gom. me how to, how to, uh, it's Gong? Gong, I think. Wow, Gom. that's cool. We'll go with Gong. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, Paul. I apologize. This one is really cool. He sent me a couple of these, but I thought this one of Patrick Mahomes really came out nice very nicely done again there's a, a great idea for product line guys that's right along with those other ones great job Paul love it second sign by John Aran <laughs> really neat I like it really good colors um, actually cute really Santa Claus yeah, really neat artwork on Santa Claus there. Great job, John. Perfect. Beautiful work. Johnny Danger. His first sign. So he used the, um, the 60 degree, and uh, he kind of went nuts with the primer. So he decided to go for the old barnwood look and uh, only uh, sanded some of it off and left a lot of the that primer on nice. there. And uh, you know what? A lot of people like that old barnwood look. And that's something that you guys might think about as kind of a backup. If you go nuts with the primer and uh, don't want to sand it all off, that might be a look you want to go for, a backup. Anyway, great job, Johnny. For a first sign, wow, pretty impressive. Chad Birch. And he made this for a friend from church. Mm. Oh, man, that is just so cool. I love it. I love so. I love all the flag designs, guys. There's so many cool flag designs out there now, um, and you guys are just coming up with new ones all the time. That one is really, really cool. Great job, Chad. Beautiful, beautiful. This one, oh my gosh, 
Frank, dude, you you killed this one. 19 by 42. You guys have already seen this. I know you have. Um, but I wanted to definitely highlight it. So he did the background, and that is really a unique background. He said he got that background idea from Cody Schroeder, um, and he used red mahogany stain. Um, did four, 19 by 42 and four different depths that he went on that thing. Um, anyway, spectacular, Frank. Man, just spectacular job, buddy. Great work. And last but not least, Bob Hatch. Huh. So this is five-quarter cedar, and it's a 26-inch round. Bob is uh, a fantastic, just a spectacular sign maker. Great job, Bob. I love it. I, just, I love the design, the way he shaped the, the sign with the ribbon in there and everything. Great job, Bob. Uh, Don Spicer said it was sign business and now official. All paperwork was filed with the state. Oh, congratulations, Don. That's exciting. Congratulations, buddy. Glad to hear it. All right, you guys. So, um, if you have any questions, throw them out at me. I'm all ears. <laughs> <laughs> so, let me know if you have any questions. <clears throat> And if you don't, uh, if you don't think of the questions here, you can always email me as always, eric at makeawoodsign.com. And uh, if you have any questions for Vicky, Vicky with Dave Signs at gmail.com. And uh, I think next week you're going to get to see another uh, Vicky's Table video. Uh, I'm working on that now. And uh, it's progressing. It's coming along. We're kind of getting, uh, I think, a couple more videos. Hopefully, we'll have that thing knocked out. And we'll be doing videos from the table right here. That would be cool. Yeah. I hadn't thought about that. But that's going to be new cool videos. to be able to do the videos on our uh, new dining room table. As long as it doesn't fall through the floor. But <laughs> anyway. Um, so, yeah, you guys will see that. I think you'll see that next video on Monday. Uh, so we're really excited about moving on, and I've got uh, I've got like what have I got like four different projects um, right now lined up that uh, I need to do some carving on. So you guys will see some of that next week as well. All right, boys and girls, that's it. We are going to get out of here and let you unless there's something I need to answer. We're going to let you guys go on with your evening. We've got some stuff. Some uh, pretty cool stuff planned for tomorrow night. So I hope you guys can join us over on YouTube. If you don't know what the channel is, it's Old Dave 100. O-L-D-A-V-E 100. See, Jeffrey Dale said, here's a question for you. Okay. Uh, hold on. He says, can I have that tiki bar sign? <laughs> You'd have to fight Vicky for that one. Mm -hmm. That is, uh, yeah, I think Bull is infecting uh, some of the audience here. <laughs> Steve from is going to start my idea of young Dave 50 tomorrow. Oh, I don't know. That sounds interesting. Steve, thank you again. For <laughs> Scott says, so who's going to help you move it in? We have a nice, hefty uh, grandson and son-in-law. Yeah, we got a couple of big old boys to help us move it in. And we've got, and I, I've got it kind of figured out. We've got some some dollies and stuff so Greg we'll, Armstrong says I've been asked to make a round sign that has the word open in the center he uh -huh. asked me to make it uh, with the black letters I'm thinking of making the background flat hold on I have to look here black letters with background hold flat. on okay but uh, uh, thinking about making the background flat around raised letters any ideas yeah you could um, and it's a, a big round um, yeah, send me an email on that. Um, send me, who is that? Uh, Armstrong. Uh, um, Jeff Armstrong? Craig. Craig Armstrong. Send me an email, um, Craig. Was it Craig or Greg? Craig. Craig. Send me an email, Craig. I do have some ideas. Um, but, but in essence, basically, I would use, I would still probably use the, um, the spiral upcut and cut a flat background if that's what you want. And uh, I would work my way from the outside in. And uh, that way your base is always riding on something. It's got something to ride on. 
So that that's that's really the way I work stuff like that. Uh, he said 20 inches. Um, Steve from said, need you okay to use your logo to make you a puzzle on scroll saw. Granted. <laughs> that sounds cool. I would love it. That would be great. That sounds cool, Steven. You got my uh, my. Good night, favorite. Frank. Good night, Frank. Good night, everybody, I guess, unless there's uh, something else in there that we need to address. Mm, nope. Okay, boys and girls, thanks so much, and uh, hope you guys have a great night, great weekend coming up. Hope you can join us tomorrow night over on YouTube Live, uh, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, and uh, we'll have uh, some kind of shenanigans going on, I'm sure. So hope you guys can join us. Have a great night, everybody. We love you. Thanks for Bye. watching. Bye. Bye.